Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make my thumbnail. This includes a video on how I make my GFXs, how I edit them, and much more. So firstly, you'll have to download this um, rig, which is really handy for when you're moving your animation around in Blender. This does not give you any viruses at all, so don't worry about that. So the next thing you have to do is you have to load your character. So how you do this is you go into plugins and you download um, Load Character Pro. And you type in your username. It kind of explains it in the video much more than me talking. But you're going to spawn at R6 and you have to have the spawner origin ticked off. And then after you do that, you are just going to click on yourself on the top right hand corner and export selection and you're going to save it to your file so next you're going to go into your rig so you this is basically how you do it i've kind of cropped it so you don't see anything else so next you have your rig and it should be purple but it may be gray so i don't know what one you downloaded so i can't really tell but i downloaded the purple one so if you want mine to be like yours, then download the purple one. <laughs> um, but you're basically just going to delete all the pits in your head, except from the rig part. Leave them because they kind of structure the face for you. All of the bits which I have deleted, you need to delete yourself. So now we are going to add texture to your GFX. So you're going to go into Shader Editor and you're going to go into the bottom texture and you're going to import the, um, your body that I told you to import um, earlier from Roblox Studio. Right, so now we have to import your head. So what you're going to go on to is you're going to go back onto Roblox Studio and you're just going to delete everything but the head or the hair, head accessories and stuff like that. Um, so you're basically just left with your head. I'm going to delete my stuff around my uh, legs because I don't really like them in my GFX, but that's that. You're going to right click on your name and you're going to export selection. Then right here you're going to go import wavefront obj and you're going to import your hair. Now your head should be the other way around, so you're just going to go into Rotation Z and rotate it 180 degrees. Right now this is the crucial step which is really important and make sure you do this. Is you've got to go onto like the picture camera sort of thing and you're going to change it to Eve, I don't know how to say it but Eve. And then you're going to go to film and you're going to change it to transparent and you're going to tick that. And this will make your hair and your hair accessories and everything non-transparent. So I definitely suggest doing this. Now to make it easy for myself, you're just going to go on to set origin and you're going to tick that. And then it should be easier to um, edit your GFX. So I've just sped this up for you because this is just a really boring part of me just animating my GFX and changing the positions or to the positions that I would like it. Um, so this is a boring part so I'm just going to speed it up for you.
So I am back, I'm back in Roblox Studio and I want to download a flower into this GFX. So I just searched that flower and I imported my flower onto my terrace and then I exported the selection and downloaded it into my GFX. This is me just trying to show you how to import your um, file to Blender. So you're going to go to import and wait for an OBJ and then it should show up nearby. So I was just moving the flower to fit it in my hand because I thought that was really cute into my GFX and it like added a nice touch with the pink and I've got like a pink outfit and everything so I just tried to scale it down so it would like look like it fitted in my hand. So once I had the flower to where I wanted it, I kind of moved my legs so that they weren't so bulky and it looked like I was actually standing up properly. So I then had my legs in like this running this running slash walking pose and once I was happy with it I then added some light. So I need to add my light now so I just changed it to object mode and then I did add light and then I chose point but you can use sun if you prefer more orange toned light I guess um so I just moved it so that it was in front of my body and yeah So personally I don't like the white light so I kind of changed it to a pink to match the tulip and my outfit. So I like the colours, now I changed the power to 122 but as you can see when I was off to the left right now after I kind of rendered it or I saw it, it was like being rendered I changed it up to 426 because it was so low and I just wanted to, it to be a bit brighter so I just changed it. So I then set up my camera and I made sure it was in the right place so I wouldn't get lost when I try and go into uh, camera mode. So then I had to change the camera width and height so that it would fit um, the full body in the frame. I played around with the camera a little bit and then I decided it was time to render my image. So this is me just getting ready for it to render and here it is rendered. Mm -hmm. 
So once it is rendered, I'm going to be using Pixlr to edit my thumbnail. So this is my GFX, but I didn't want a black background, I wanted a transparent background so that I could have um, stuff as a background customised. So I kind of just changed the tolerance so that it would get all the background, but I didn't want any of my hair to be gone or anything like that. So I just changed that and then I was just playing around with it a lot. So with this, my I had the tolerance to 5, so it wasn't very good and you could see the black in the background and I did not want that at all. So I undid that and I changed the tolerance to about... I just saved it and then I saved it as a PNG and make sure you do save it as a PNG not a GPG, a JPG. To help me, I searched up what size is a YouTube thumbnail and it comes up with these pictures, so that's how I knew how big I should make mine. searched on Pinterest for some aesthetic backgrounds for my thumbnail. and I just imported the um, aesthetic image that I've just downloaded. my background I wanted my new transparent image to be in front of the background so I just set that in place and I made an outline because I just wanted to play around a bit
reason that I did was I uploaded another one of the same image that I've just done and I filled it to the grey and then I changed the transparency to 60 or something and then I put it behind my image so that it looked like it had like a background sort of thing So this is probably the most time consuming part of the whole video, it's probably the writing. It takes so long to try and find the right text that fits with what you're trying to what you're trying to do. So just to make this more interesting for you, I'm just going to speed this up because this will take a long time. tried to um, make the outline go with the background so I added the sand colours, I added the watercolours, the sky and I also did the pink in the lily. saved the image and this video is really done um this was a really fun video to make and um, please make sure to like this video if you want to see more videos like this um i really want to do a gfx tutorial which is like actually background stuff and tell me if i should do that